In this section we're explaining and teaching how to do each of the waveforms and my teacher and colleague uh, uh, um, Paul will be in to give him a hand with all those and we'll go through each of the waveforms that uh, we first uh, experienced and first we'll look at the forward waveform. Uh, the very first thing we're looking at is to get used to the idea of moving the hip and hand in a disjointed fashion. In other words, instead of moving hip and arm together, we want the hip to move in a different fashion to the arm so that the hip itself loads first, the leg comes through and the arm is a re relaxed agent movement. So we're pushing through and allowing that through and the arm just simply will, will whip itself out and just lets itself go. We'll, we'll relax a bit more with the movement. Just let the hip and arm come through and a little bit more, get the hip moving a little out of sync with the arm, rather than moving the whole body together, that's it, and letting it explode through. Nicely done. All right. Hey, good teacher. The second one in that sequence is up and down. And again, what we don't want to do is move the body and arms together and use weight progression. We want to move hips and arms out of sequence. So as the hips are moving up, the arms are just starting their motion. And as the hips start to descend, then the hands will come through. So we, instead of moving in conjunction, we want to move the hips out of cycle. Relax a bit more, hips flow, the hips move out of sequence with the arms so that you're getting a whip action rather than just simply a body weight action. The next one in that sequence is the side to side action. And this is really about a flow, but again, it's that same concept, moving hips out of sequence. So we don't want to move hip and arm, as Paul's showing right now. We want to move the hip out of sequence with the arm, so that we're getting a, a whipping and waving motion with the arm. So that the arm isn't dependent on the body moving as a static module like that it's moving in response to the whip and we want the hips just simply to relax a bit more and the arm to whip back and forth. The other side. That's it. It's really relax through the hips, just let the arms just wave back and forth. Excellent. Okay, the next in that sequence is the 45 degree waveform. So essentially we've got an up and down motion again, but we're having to come down and through. And again, we're aiming to get this free flowing motion where the hip and hand isn't moving up and down. Thusly, we're letting the hip flow independently. So that we're getting a really fluid action. You want those hips to move just up a little bit more, but descend through. The arms move more independently of the hip. And then the other side. Excellent. The last in that sequence is the spiral. And in terms of the spiral, we're looking at almost an action where there's a stop, as if our foot got caught. And as it does so, it, the hip pushes back through, we catch it through. 
we catch through. And as we do, then we allow the action to come forward. So it's not just a body weight movement where we're moving and transferring power thusly. We're allowing the foot to almost as if we've stubbed our toe or someone's grabbed our foot and momentarily restricted the foot. And in doing so, then the hip comes forward. And in doing so, then we allow the, the arm just simply to spiral through. So we're just allowing that action to come forward. And just as if someone's trying to trip us and explode through. sequence. We're looking at the forward uh, waveform first off a straight punch. Again we're aiming to transfer power through the waveform not through physical power. straight elbow we can also use the spiral waveform where we have that situation where the back leg has been stopped and we allow the explosion to come through and drive through using the same straight elbow. Straight. sequence is the headbutt. Don't injure yourself putting too much power in. Good. Go right through. 
it's had quite a penetration. Excuse me one moment. Ah. Front kick or roundhouse, which would you prefer? No, front, front kick or front kick. Now you're using the forward waveform. Thank you very much for your time.